How to mount local directory to remote like SSHFS. I know SSHFS is used to mount remote directory to local, but I need to mount local directory to remote Fs. I would like to mount a local folder such as onto a remote machine which I have SSH access to, such as the goal being that edits made locally are reflected on the remote file system. From this URL. How to do it. You set up SSH forwarding by using port 10,000 on the machine you log in onto port 22 on your local machine and use SSHFS to mount in on the other side. F.x to mount slash home slash username slash my devel stuff on your local machine to slash var slash www on the server side. In order to avoid extra authentication and double encryption, you can reverse forward the port to another port than 22 and run the slash user slash libexic slash open slash sftp server via the e option of we had on that port locally first. Then on the remote and use the direct port option of sshfs via the ssh command. You will get a remote shell with your local files in the dollar point directory and you don't need to log in twice. How convenient is that? As a bonus, it allows mounting only once, so if someone else on the remote machine tries to open the port 34568, she will not get access to your files. Make sure the port number 34567 is not in use locally and 34568 is not in use remotely, else choose some other numbers in GT, 1024 and make sure the dollar and point directory exists on the remote end. No. In order to do this all you need to do is reverse your logic. You could, for example, set up a one-liner which would SSH into the remote machine and then use SSHFS to mount the remote directory on the local machine on that box. Of course this might be simplistic what with NAT, firewall rules etc, but you did not describe your usage case. There are other protocols like SMB and, even better, NFS, but they will suffer similar issues. The core of the problem you have is that a machine needs to trust the source of the data, and if you can remotely mount a file system that would break one of the core tenets of internet security. I really like it Ronald Hoogenboom's solution, but I've tweaked it to work with an ssh underscore config, tilde slash dot ssh slash config, file so that it sets everything up transparently when I run ssh dollar hostname normally. Replace dollar hostname, dollar my underscore dear, and dollar point as appropriate. If you want, we'll be done. Please let's see what's happening.